So, a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this course on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. So, in the last lecture, we had established that uh, all multimedia signals or most signals of practical interest, namely images, audio, and data are highly correlated. So, we had established that these are highly correlated and this correlation can be used to compress these signals. We had seen an example where we had seen that uh, audio compressed. So, we had seen that uh, audio is compressed by 5.04 MB per minute audio is should be compressed by a factor of 3 and an image is uh, compressed by close to a factor of 5. So, this we had established in the last class and uh, so the idea is that uh, these signals lend well to AR models and uh, the AR models can be used to compress them. So, the first is speech. So, in this lecture we will look at the use of correlation models to we will look at the use of correlation models for compression. We will look at two forms of signals one speech only provide a quick, we will only provide a quick theoretical discussion because uh, I had earlier planned to use a speech signal as well, but uh, since the audio from my computer is not directly recordable and uh, it involves certain maneuvers with the audio. So, I would not directly use audio here, I will use, I will just use images, we will provide a quick theoretical background and leave the experiments to the audience, leave the experiments to the audience because uh, I am not uh, that comfortable using audio with this or with this platform. But images, second form we will use are images and here since images are easily visible on the screen and uh, we can maneuver them with uh, ease. So, we will look at images and here we will look at the theoretical background as well as provide a live coding examples. We we'll look at uh, the theoretical background as well as provide a live coding example. Fine. So, that said, let us start. So, for speech, we know that speech is whites and stationary within a 40 millisecond interval. So, speech signals are uh, whites and stationary within a 40 millisecond interval. So, speech is generally sampled at 8 kilohertz or 8000 samples per second. So, 40 milliseconds would be 320 samples. So, let us have a speech signal x n with variance sigma n square. So, that uh, x n equals x can, can be written as an AR model. This is an, this is an AR model and this is the innovation component. We have shown in our discussion on AR models that the variance of the innovation component is this or sigma v square equals 
sigma x square minus w Hermitian r w whichever way you want but uh, the key idea here is that uh, the larger the correlation between two of these the smaller will be sigma v square. So, a smaller sigma v square. So, means if sigma v square is smaller means the additional variance or the variance of each sample with respect to its past samples or given its past samples is variance of each sample given its past samples is small and so if we know past samples and we quantize just this newness or just uh, what is new in the nth sample we have an estimate of the nth sample. So, we quantize just the newness then obviously, we know all what is already there we quantize what is new combine the two we get a quantized version of the nth sample and we know that the number of quantization levels or the signal to quantization noise ratio depends. So, the number of quantization levels we have seen that depend on the variance or the number of quantization or I will put it this way to maintain fixed signal to noise ratio the number of quantization levels need to be proportional to the signal variance. So, the number of quantization levels need to be proportional to the signal variance and since the number of quantization levels need to be proportional to the signal variance, a smaller signal variance variance means that the same is can be achieved using smaller number of quantization bits. Same SQNR can be achieved using a smaller number of quantization bits and hence we can compress. So, this is the key idea. So, now, so this is what is linear predictive coding of speech. So, this is the algorithm to be followed in linear predictive coding of speech. Take the audio sample, break it into 40 millisecond windows. We have built an order 12 autoregressive model. So, build an order 12 autoregressive model, get the coefficients, quantize the error and you get linear predictive coding of speech. But in order to get uh, this linear predictive coding model of speech, we need to obtain the correlation matrix. So, for obtaining the correlation matrix, we use ergodicity and uh, we have 320 samples. So, can construct so n equal to 320 minus 12 can average 
over 308 samples to construct these vectors matrices and get the model get the air model coefficients these are the air model coefficients so naturally this is r this is p we get and this and vn equals minus this is the prediction the sample, this is the prediction error, the key idea is to quantize and I will write it here again just to be clear, the key idea is to quantize V n instead of x n, the idea is to quantize v n instead of x n, hence compress the signal and hence compress the signal, fine. So this is called the processing gain, so the processing gain is the ratio, so basically if you have to quantize a variance sigma v square instead of sigma x square. So have to quantize sigma v square instead of sigma x square, then if the number of quantization levels is fixed, then number of quantization levels is fixed then you get signal to quantization noise ratio of v square by sigma q square x square by q square or the gain is sigma x square, sigma v square. So this is the signal to quantization noise ratio and you get an improved signal to quantization noise ratio and hence this is called the processing gain. So this improves with the number of the, the smaller you make the innovation process variance or the smaller the more quantization levels that you use. So this we won't cover here and uh, so let us quickly look at the computational complexity of uh, this. So we can calculate the order L correlation matrix from n samples using order of n L square flops and the LPC coefficients can be found using order of L cube floating point operations and the error for n samples can be, so this is order of plus L times the overall computational complexity of linear predictive coding is this for so now let us so this was about speech as i said we won't be demonstrating this for speech and uh, but we will demonstrate this for an image and we will look at the baboon image that we considered last time so this we will open MATLAB, we have a boon, so I will clear all, all the variables are cleared, open baboon, this, so the baboon but this is a color image, so I will reduce it to BG, yes, RGB to gray, baboon. 
yeah, RGB to gray A y yes. So, I get a gray scale image 512 by 512 gray scale image. So, RGB to gray is an inbuilt MATLAB function that converts a color image to a gray scale image. So, this is the 512 by 512 gray scale image baboon which is a, again a standard test image. So, now let us look at the correlation. So, let us say store image as matrix. So, store image as a matrix. So, let me take say SZ equals size of since we are using one image, we can also build this as a function, but right now since we have stored an image in the variable workspace, so we will use it this directly. C1 equals 1 to Z 1 by 8. Or C2 equals 1 to S2 by 8 and and so this. Now I will pick up a block and convert it to an image. So what I will do is let me demonstrate that here. So let me demonstrate that here using ink and then so, this is an image, this is a 512 by 512 image, we pick up an 8 cross 8 block, port it to a vector we can pick up an 8 by 8 block and port it to a vector. So, this is an 8 cross 8 block, this is just 4 cross 4, but uh, I hope you get the idea that uh, this is an 8 cross 8 block and so we pick up the C1 comma C2 block. Say so let me break it into L by L blocks into blocks. So in this case the C1 C2 block will contain entries from C1 minus 1 L plus 1 to L minus 1. So, these and L plus 1 to C well L to So, these will be the entries that it will contain. So, this will be the C1, C2 block and naturally if I want to store this as a matrix then this will the C one L plus C two at entry. This will correspond to the C one L plus C two at entry of the matrix. So that said, let us uh, try to deconstruct this image. So say b equals bg the block b c1 say l equals 8 l2 c1 l comma this. So, 
let me just pick up the first block from this image and then I can continue. So, right now this program will just to image as matrix. So, we will just store this image as a matrix and this. So, this is saved and let me run this. So, this should be plus 1 in both the places and run. So, this. So, 149.53 and if I look at BG, so I will close all the variables, look at 149.53, so this is the, sorry, this is BG, so 61. So, this is the same matrix, it's fine. So, B equals T shape B. Actually, this could have been done in a single step. So, let me do it in a single step. So, this now B is stored as a length 64 column vector which makes sense. So, this and this and if I run this, so B mat So, L should not be there, C1 minus 1 L plus C2 and this should be a column vector, this. So, this should be a column vector, this and yeah, so clear all should be there. So, I will clear all once and load baboon again. Clear B mat, that will be easier. So I'll just clear B mat. So I'll clear B mat and there. Now if I run this, so B mat is the same as this. So let me try this for C2 equals 1 to 2. should be C2, my bad. So, yeah. This and this has run. So, this now contains two blocks of the image and so 8 and this and I run this and BMAT now contains 568 vectors each of length. So, B mat this matrix now contains 564 columns each of uh, length 64. So, now the first thing that we would want to do is let us convert this back. So, before we proceed further, let us convert this back. So, for C1. So, to see whether we get the proper image back or not. So, for C1 equal to 1, 2, length B mat. This, so this is the length. Now, floor.
बी बार यू हैव टू डू द सेम ऑपरेशन एंड रीशेप एंड नाउ दिस आई पिक अप दिस ओनली कैच हेयर इज दैट आर वन दिस एंड बी बार एंड I'll call this new image BG2. So when I run this, yes, R1. This should be R1. R2 should be. This should be there, and I'll just display this and see where is the error. Ah, when R two comes out to be zero, yes, that is a problem. So, yes. So R two zero L. This should solve this problem. This should solve this problem. This additional if, otherwise we will go back to a double loop and this. So, so this and B bar. Let me look at it. B bar is picked up right. Then, oh, this is the problem. This is so. Yeah, so I'll have to use that. Uh, this is only going that way, so I'll have to use uh, the older logic only, or I'll have to use a double for loop. So, for C one equals two, so L L is eight. And copy this and paste this here. So copy just the we have to reverse the operation. So we'll simply have to unpack. So we simply have to we did some packing and what we are doing now is unpacking. so this is the unpacking of so we have converted this back into a b bar is a square block and bg2 equals b bar this should go away this and this should be the image back so so we are in trouble we didn't get the image back so in order to resolve this we will possibly have to write our own reshape and undo that so this So we'll have to write our own stacking algorithm because uh, reshaping here would uh, involve stacking inbuilt stacking from MATLAB that is most probably not being reversed when we do that. So let's say a equals one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. So this is A. This and this. So A two. this reshaping is done properly then what is the problem so this first block is restored perfectly if I look at it even the second block is restored perfectly so these blocks are restored perfectly. I do not know what is the issue. There is some artifact that uh, I am missing and that is causing this trouble. So let us go to the end. There are zeros which is as expected. So we will clear BG2 and we will revisit it. So let us display C1 and C2. Or let us display the indices of this and we will see. Let us display these indices and we see what happens. This and we run this again. B mat, ah. so this has to be reshaped. shape and this is closed 568 this is so now save run still the same error we are still unable to reconstruct this image. So, we have an error. Uh, we will stop this lecture here and uh, try to resolve this in the next lecture. Thank you.